Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Boomer Esiason, and I want to welcome you all to the 18th annual Remington Trophy presentation. So thank you for gathering tonight, not only to celebrate the amazing centers in the room, but also to raise money for the cystic fibrosis community, a cause that directly impacts my son, Gunner's life. Now, first, let me personally congratulate Billy, both on and off the field. You know, you have demonstrated character and maturity beyond your years. Now, I really don't know what those coaches at Ohio State are doing, but seeing a center of your caliber coming out of Columbus for the second year in a row is something special. I also want to see you excel here at the next level on the NFL field, and I can't wait for that. Next, I am pleased to congratulate Joe Montgomery on receiving this year's Gerald R. Ford Award. Your significant contributions on the field, in the boardroom, and most importantly in your community make you exceptionally deserving of the recognition. I also want to welcome Mark Schlereth, your featured speaker for this evening, and as a guard with a long and successful NFL career, and of course your work on that other network, you probably have countless stories to share that will make this evening even more special for our guests. And finally, I would like to welcome Sabrina Walker, and what a story. Her husband Adam is with her tonight, and you are in for a special treat. Our foundation honored Sabrina with the Michael Brennan Courage Award last year for her bravery and perseverance with living with cystic fibrosis. And there was not a dry eye in the room, and neither will there be tonight. So to everyone else here tonight, please, Thank you so much for supporting my former teammate and friend, Dave Remington, and for generously supporting the CF community. I know you'll all have a great night. So let's practice kindness. Let's practice love. Let's practice togetherness. Let's practice grace, and let's practice connecting with one another so that we, right here in this room, have the opportunity to change people's lives. I thank everyone in this room because you are providing me with hope that I will live to tell my son that I have beat cancer, but I have also beat cystic fibrosis.